All right, so welcome back to another shop tip of the day. This is a 2004 Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. Has the 3.4 V6 engine and a five-speed. Very popular rig. Uh, we live here in Portland, Oregon, and it's starting to winter up out here. It's early December, and uh, like many people, this guy wants to go skiing, but he can't go skiing because his four-wheel drive doesn't work. And this is where I come in. It's a four-wheel drive vehicle. Four-wheel drive should work. And I haven't found a lot of information on this specific problem. So I'm gonna take you guys through it and I hope that it can help somebody out. So what we got here, again, is a four-wheel drive Toyota pickup. We're gonna go in the cab here and show you what kind of four-wheel drive system it's got. It's a stick shift, like I said. Turn the light on here. You see it's got a little lever. Uh, I got the light just right here. Dang it. You can see that. But there's a button on the side of this little lever here. So you've got low, I think it's low four, and low and high four. And you can select between the two and there's a neutral in between. In fact, let's just verify that. Sorry about the lighting here. Yeah, low four, neutral, and high, high four. So you can shift between high and low in four wheel drive. And when you press this button on the side, it's just like a push button uh, four wheel drive system like you'd see on a modern car. Um, but what was happening is there's a little light on the dash, right? Right there, see that green light with the wheels? That was not coming on. It would flicker, but it wouldn't come on. And I'm gonna show you what I did to go through to figure this out. So let's go underneath the car. I'm going to turn it off right now. There we are. And again, I was actuating that button simply by pushing this four-wheel drive button in and out. It kind of has a, um, you can kind of tell that's four-wheel drive on when it's depressed, and that's four-wheel drive off. And if you listen really closely, I don't know if you can, turn the fan off. You can hear, hear the, the buzzing of the uh, transfer case, electronics, and the front axle uh, actuator. Let's go underneath there and I'll show you what's going on. So how this works is we've got a transfer case, which most people are pretty familiar with. Transfer case splits the power. You've got a rear drive line that goes to the rear, and you've got a front drive line that goes to the front, and that would be this one right here. In the middle here, you've got the transfer case, and on the transfer case, you've got this electric my light here. Mechanism here. This is an actuator and it's got a little motor You can see just like a windshield wiper motor with a little screw drive and it basically Puts the vehicle into four-wheel drive or transfers power to the front drive line now What I've gone through to try to figure out this problem again His problem was you'd put it uh, Into four high the lever into four high and press the button and nothing would happen no green light Sometimes you get a flash of a green light, but no flashing green light, and certainly no buzzer. But what I noticed was when you push the button that this drive line would lock up. So I knew that the transfer case actuator was working. And by the way, that's a very expensive actuator. You cannot just remove it simply. The whole transfer case has got to be removed. I've been told it's like a $2,000 job to replace that. So I was hoping not to replace that actuator. But we go up to the front here, and if you look inside, see that silicone area there? There's a collar in there. Let's see if I get my hand in here. And if you flip this back and forth, that's how you get four wheel drive. So in other words, that's two wheel drive. I'm spinning the tire here, and it's not spinning any other tire, and it's not spinning the drive line. And if I flip this little collar, try that again, I'm sorry for the shaky video. Right about here, let me move the wheel. So it locks right there. Okay, now you see when I turn the tire, we turn the drive line. So the four-wheel drive is engaged. So the actuator, which I've got resting right here, is basically just this little fork. And again, it's got like a little motor with an electrical connection. These vacuum lines do nothing but just vent the unit. On earlier model Toyotas, Pre-2004, they had a vacuum system with vacuum valves. This does not have that. Oh boy, sorry about the lighting. So, what I did was, 
So what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you, I'll set this actuator right here. I knew that the actuator wasn't working. So we're going to go, you can see the actuator, if you look at this fork, it's to the left side of the case here, or the opening. I'm going to go push the button and it's going to slide to the, to the side. It wasn't always doing that. I found out that this actuator on the transfer case was stuck. I had a tap right here with a, with a ratchet, something metal, and I got this unstuck to send a signal to that. So let's press a button. Going back up, we're going to press the four-wheel drive button. We can listen. Hear that buzz? And now the green light should be on, which it is. Verified, not flashing. And our front actuator, you can see, is now oops, to the other side. So that was a tough one to figure out. I would have never thought by just simply tapping on this that the four-wheel drive has not been used in a while. I hope it keeps working. Um, I don't know of any other repair. There's no other relays, fuses, anything like that. I've checked all those. The only solution I found was basically just a wrap right on there. So I hope I helped somebody out. Um, it's nice to have four-wheel drive. All right, thanks for watching my videos.